Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here is the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, this is Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, with your favorite niche land real estate website, www.thelandgeek.com. And today is special because when it's like 114 in Scottsdale, Arizona, I get to reach back and live vicariously through my good buddy, Duran Frazier, living the dream in Carlsbad. What's the temperature today in Carlsbad, Duran? You know, it's actually very interesting. It's more like a monsoonal Arizona weather. It's bizarre. It's like a humid 75, but it's, uh, we've got, it's bizarre. I, I, like, I think when it gets really hot inland, like I think the deserts now are like 110, 115, we get this really weird, like kind of um, like an onshore flow, but like clouds, high clouds. It's just really weird. So right now I, it looks like there's some thunderstorms uh, east of us. But uh, weather's gorgeous. My son's out at surf camp today, enjoying his day. Nice. While his dad works hard to pay for a surf camp. That's great. Well, my, my son's in basketball camp, and then we've got art camp, and then dance camp. They're all in camp, uh, you know. You know, I mentioned something to you this morning. It was a little frustrating. You've been to my little secret coffee shop, which isn't Lofty so secret. Lofty coffee, baby. Which isn't so secret anymore, unfortunately. Um, I drove by this morning, and I was like, ah, oh, if I can get the line right at the door, it's like 15 minutes. And then I go park the car and I look over and there's like nine people that were that were in line after that door. And I was like, there is no way I'm waiting 30 minutes for my lofty coffee this morning. Right, and right. it's probably the first time I actually just gave up. I said, I'm going to go to uh, to Peach and I'll just be happy with Peach this morning. Wow. So, so you went totally corporate. You wouldn't wait in line. Totally corpo on you. Sorry, dude. You wouldn't, I, you wouldn't do the organic coffee with the guy with the nose ring and the tattoos that, and, that, and, and, and the – What's it's a that? Scratch it's a scratch golfer. And the scratch golfer. Yeah, exactly. So you had to go to Pete's. <laughs> so, you know, what's funny is, is all these people are probably related to you that are standing in line because they all had Arizona license plates. They pull up like it's like it's a tourist attraction. And I'm just like, dude, can that bus go home already back to Arizona where Mark Podolsky's from? Well, you know what it is? It's, it's probably because they all listen to the Land Geek podcast and we were talking about Lofty Coffee. And That's true. Anyone, anyone who's smart who's in Arizona – is in San Diego right now getting away. So yeah. they're, you know, the, the secret's out. The secret is out. And I, unfor and you know, it's really, here's what's interesting. I think I showed you, they built another one across the street, right. more, of a, a more of a roasting house. The place is deserted. Um, it's a ghost town over there and it's open, which is really interesting. So, but I mean, he roasts his coffee there, so I don't think he cares either way. Um, but, uh, but it's a pretty neat little facility that's just not being used. So I'm gonna have to start, um, uh, working my way across the street. <laughs> right. You know, you know, it's interesting because I was just reading uh, The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber. I just love that book and I go back to it. And he talks about the three phases of business. They're just like people, right? So you've got your infan infancy phase, you've got your adolescent phase, and then you've got maturity. So when anyone starts their own business as an entrepreneur, that they're an infant. They're doing everything themselves. They're learning to walk. They're learning to talk. Basically, they're learning – what their optimum selling strategy is and how to get customers. Once they get those customers and then they hire their first employee or virtual assistant, then they're kind of in adolescence because they're not doing all the work anymore themselves. Yeah. So, uh, and then eventually they hopefully get into maturity. Now, most companies don't make it after five years. I think it's like an 80% failure rate. And, very few companies ever, they might reach adolescence, but very few ever get into maturity because of this. And uh, I think it's interesting. So what, the reason I bring that up and I segue into that is it looks like Lofty Coffee is now in adolescence and they're struggling with their customer service. There shouldn't be a half hour wait for coffee anywhere, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so their system is broke somewhere in that, in that chain. And they're, they're going to lose customers just like they lost you. And I think that applies to a land business in the sense that if you're doing your land listings and you're doing your marketing and you're doing the deal flow, right, there may not be enough time to deal with customer support 
people coming in and asking you questions. At some point in your infancy stage, you're going to have to get that virtual assistant. And Duran is having a difficult time now with virtual assistants. Let's let's talk about what's up with your what's going on with your VAs. Man, I'll tell you, I don't know. I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I've just had so many struggles with VAs. Language barriers are so difficult. And I, I don't know. I've told how many times I told everybody, all the listeners on the show, that I won't go back to India unless I need something cookie cutter. Because right. they're just. Don't, why, not, why are you ripping they, on a whole country? I, I'm sorry. That is I'm, terrible. I'm sorry. But you know what? You're totally they stereotyping not, India right yes, now. Yes, I, I am. I am. Sorry, guys. Indi- all my Indian friends. I work with these. There's, there's still several I work with that are awesome. You're just not, you're not very creative. Sorry, guys. Um, but the fact of the matter is I have certain things that need to get done that take a little bit of creativity. Not much, but you have to think a little bit outside the box. Recently, I had a, I had a new template built. I wanted to take uh, one template, just move the information, simply move information from one template to another. And, and the VA basically takes, literally copies HTML from eBay. She takes eBay's template, like eBay's actual website. I said, I said, I told you exactly what I needed done, right. and I gave you, I did, and I and I did the old get three people, hire three. Two of them didn't even bother to do it, right. and I was just like, I, it just it's it's a never ending game of finding certain things that I can do on my own. So what I'm learning is there are certain things. It doesn't take me that long. If it takes me four hours to do it, but it's going to take me another six to hire a virtual assistant, pay them another four to go do it. It doesn't make any I, sense. I am seriously going to, to rip on you now. Oh, dude, that, please. You, honestly, the time that you're spending doing that is is terrible. You're going to have to go through the pain because if you do it yourself, that's time that should be spent bringing in deal flow or time marketing or actually doing the things that make your business grow. You can't grow your business if you're working in the business as a technician, as the one doing the coding, as the one putting the things together. You should be the innovator at this point as the entrepreneur. You I, should be I, able to say, this I, is what I need done, and you I, do it, and then keep building the business. Um, and I'm, How and are you going to grow the business I, if you're doing dude, it? I'm, I told you I'm building Land Hub to offer these things. So I don't have to hire these virtual assistants. So it's all going to be automated, which is even better. We don't need a virtual assistant. I know. I know. So the problem is these virtual assistants can't freaking get it right, Mark. I, yeah, I think you're going to have to take some responsibility here. At I'm some not. point, you got to look at yourself like, okay, am I training these people well enough? Number one, am I clear? Number two, if I'm being clear, right, did yeah. I hire the person with the right skill set or did money play a factor in it? Were you looking but, for the cheapest contractor? No, I, in fact, I go and take that, that little bar on Odesk and I go up to like seven bucks an hour because I don't want to hire a cheap contractor. Then I'm like, then I assume I'm getting the good people, right? I search by, just so everybody knows on Odesk, hours are a lie, hundred percent. I don't buy it. I don't buy these people working for five, a thousand hours plus. It doesn't, it's a lie. That's number one. Number two is don't always listen to your feedback. I had a guy who built me something. I think it was on Elance. The guy did an awful job. He stole a bunch of content from another and I had him build me a template. Stole a bunch of stuff from my, I told him what I wanted. He took the images and put those images in mine. So, so when I, my content, when my, when my template loads, he's using images from another site. So I'm like, sir, I can't embed your, another company's images in my site because what if that company goes under or close or move servers? Right. The location of the files is gone. He goes, well, I said, look, there's no excuse. You can't. So I went, I arbitrated with Elance. He says to me, what did I do wrong? I said, you stole people's images. I told you to build me a custom <laughs> template. So so then he goes, just give me five stars and I'll give you half your money back. And I'm oh myself, my what gosh. A horrible system. What a horrible system. Terrible so, system. Anyway, so that's uh, that's that. Yeah, but I, yeah, uh, okay, so let, let me ask you this. So I don't know. I, I honestly think that you're going to have to go through the frustration of training somebody and finding someone who can do it better than you. Ultimately, right? And well, you may I, not, I, and I'm honestly, you, you may never find anybody who can do it. That can do it better than me. Maybe, maybe they can't do it better than you, but it's still comparative advantage, right? So yeah. let, let's take LeBron James, okay? LeBron yeah. James may be, he may be able to type at 100 words per minute, right? 100 uh-huh. words per minute. Can't find anybody that can type as fast as him. Yeah. And he's blogging, right? And he wants to do a blog. The time that he's taking, to write 100 words per minute instead of practicing basketball, which pays him $20 million a year, 
Look, dude, you're preaching to the choir, but you know what the problem is? Well, yeah, I'm not preaching to the choir because you're not going through the frustration. So much freaking time trying to find these virtual assistants to do. Oh, and that's the only problem I'm having right now is the, the, the HTML problem. So if I can solve my own problem fairly quickly, I don't need to worry about it. You're right. I Everything else, I do have virtual But it's never going There's, away. You're always going to need coding. No, I'm not. You're always going to need it. I'm building that platform in LandHub so we don't have that problem, Mark. You're building the plat. Okay, fine. So you're telling me you're never going to need another coder, ever. Correct. Correct. This is it. Per I'm going to put the listings are going to be up. You're going to have ads. You're going to have a ch you can choose from your ads. You can right click your HTML. You can copy it, and you can paste it anywhere you want. And you can do this yourself. And I can yes. You, you know how to do the, the technical aspect of it. No, oh, I've got a developer building the platform. So what are you hiring someone for? Because that's for LandHub. I'm talking about right now building listings and templates to syndicate across the internet with my virtual assistants who can syndicate, but for some reason they can't solve the HTML problem because the last four or five that I've gone through seem to get it all wrong. And I've given I've given them video, I've given them everything. They just get it wrong. You, so you mean putting it up on like your website or putting up no. on Craigslist, like marketing your property? Take no, taking a taking a template. Right. I built a new template, Mark Podolsky. You, a, a new it. template for okay. for selling your land. Correct. A new marketing template. Okay. okay. So all the information from the old template that's in HTML. Right. I need all that information. Uh, I need it all in you know put into the new template. Why didn't you that tell makes, me? I've got a guy who'll do it for you. Design Hub. These guys are in England. They'll dude, do, they'll do a nice job. That's how. That's where I got my template. Yeah, Land Hub, Design Hub. Where do you get this guy from? Come on. What do you mean? Um, Design Hub. The, the name? D D Z I N E Hub. I'm just saying he stole Land Hub, Design Hub. He stole. I, well, my... look, I love the hub. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, so I, perfect. You're gonna send me your guy. I uh, hopefully it's gonna solve my problem. Look, the biggest challenge, and we talked about Mark and I've talked about this a million times. If you find a good virtual assistant, keep them, pay them. Whatever it is, make them work and do stuff. Because the yeah, dilemma yeah, what is, I'm, what I'm trying to figure out is it is it is it Duran or is it the virtual assistants or is it a combination of the two? Because oh, I've got another coaching client that's having the hardest time finding a good VA, and I'm thinking to myself, well, how is it everyone else is finding good VAs except for you? Well, here's the thing. Here's the here's the interesting dynamic. I, or, I will go, take, or good enough VAs. I, I will know? take some responsibility for my actions. I'm okay. not perfect at solving the virtual assistant crisis that I'm currently in right now. And it's a crisis for me because I, I have several people that work for me offshore and here in the U S and those that work for me, I, the good ones I keep around the heart, the hardest part is when you, when you're hiring employees and you're looking for that particular employee to do the right stuff and continually be there for what you need. Like I had, a, I had a couple guys, I, I made an error. I had a guy who was really, really good at all, all sorts of like WordPress web development stuff. Um, any PHP stuff that I needed and I let him go and he got a full-time job and he, and he, he's very sporadic and helping me. And I, but I couldn't really afford him to keep him full-time. I mean, he was, his hour today was like 12 bucks an hour. So I'm paying the guy, you know, just way too much money, you know, a hundred bucks a day to keep him around. Like I can't pay two grand a month for a guy who, you know, to help me do stuff along the way. Right. I just, it doesn't make sense for me. So I let him go, but he was really, really good. And so unfortunately there's certain people you have to let go. And, right. but in this, in this scenario, I've got I, I've I've got one crisis that I keep having a problem with solving. It's like it's like one position. Like let's say you have a marketing guy, and he keep, and every marketing guy keeps getting it wrong. Your sales guy's good. Um, you know every aspect of your of your business is good, but you have that one position that's a rotating door, and you just can't solve it. And that happens in businesses. No, it does. Right? I mean, no no one said it was easy. Yeah, yeah. So but, you know the but the beauty of it is in the trying, right? Am I allowed? I just want to know: Am I allowed to be frustrated? You're definitely allowed to be frustrated, but, okay. but you know, I want to make sure that the frustration is pointed in the right direction and it's productive frustration, right? Okay. Persistent frustration that you're not going to give up the strategy of saying to myself, to yourself, there's someone out there that I can teach this to, and they will eventually be as good, if not better than me at doing this. So I can do the bigger, better innovative things in my business. They're not going to be the innovative ones. No one's going to care more about land hub or reserve land than you. Correct. Right? Correct. Or or whatever other idea you have. So Correct. you're going to have to go through that. Is all I'm saying. I'm yeah. not saying it's not frustrating. It's it's terrible. I yeah. hate it. 
Yeah. And, and, and his control f- issues too. I have terrible control issues. Yeah. You, your wife told me that last week. I you know. know it's, 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 no kidding. <laughs> I, I, we had an argument this morning about, about money and control. No, no I'm not joking. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I don't. I don't have arguments. My wife. We're we're a perfect marriage. Yeah. Um. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, going going back to, I just think that 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 there are certain aspects of what we do that we can't really like. I, I will tell you, like, let's say, um, I've got a new property in in um in an area of Nevada that we haven't normally sold. Well, I can I can't go hire a VA to go to go fill out that information about. Crescent Valley, Nevada. No, you or, can't hire a VA to do that, but you so, certainly can create a template one time. Yeah. Absolutely. And you can create a system for that one area one time and then have the VA do it. I agree with oh. you on, on that okay. respect. There, there are some things <laughs> you have stuff. to do. It's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. For new areas, uh, I do it myself too. Okay. I like it. Okay. Well, that's, it's, that's good to know. I, I just thought that maybe you were like God's gift to, uh, to offshore virtual assistants. No, no. Look, I struggle with it just as much as everybody else. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, but what I do though, is I will typically, if they care and they think and they can think, yeah, I, I will look back and, and do a gut check for myself and say, you know, where in this process, when it didn't go exactly as I wanted, where yeah. am I responsible? What did I do that I could have done better? Yeah. As far as then just slashing and burning and going to a new person. I mean, as, yeah. long, as long as they're competent and they care and they understand my why, why I'm doing this and can get behind that, then I've got, you know, then it's just a matter of problem solving. Like, okay, where's the problem here? Why can't we solve this? It's frustrating. Yeah. I, and I will go, I will go back and say that one, one thing a lot of people should understand is when you plan on doing something or you're, or you've got something and you're trying, you're trying something new, if you're going to fail at it, fail fast. I, I just I was just saying that. I love that. Yeah, fail fast. I, I mean, I I I learned with Land Hub the hard way building uh one of my components recently. We spent five months on it and I spent a lot of money on it. And we really wanted I wanted to get it done because if I had gotten this piece done, I, the the uh the Craigslist tool, if it was if it was complete, it would have been a game changer. Right. Unfortunately there's a lot of hiccups along the way and Craigslist ultimately controls it and you have to be within their terms of use. So there's a lot of strategies that I had to solve because it hasn't been done for real estate. And my dilemma was I could have had this guy focus on eight other tools, which he solved three of them in about six days. And wow. so, so now I'm, you know, kicking myself going, gosh, we spent five, five, five and a half months on this, on this thing. We couldn't solve it. Um, so if you're going to, if you're going to, you're going to go find a virtual that can't do it, make sure you find like, you know, it's funny because, um, so I had these, these three VAs that I hired to, to you know, to see which one could do it the best. And then I was going to keep that one around. Um, of course, two of them said, no, thank you. The one that took the job on and ends up, you know, I, and I love it because I will tell you, I don't care what people say, but when you deal with offshore people, you get the most incredible excuses on the planet. The one I got last week was, um, I, you know, my, 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 my belly hurt for a week and I couldn't, I couldn't get this done. And they were supposed to get it done in like 24 hours. It took them nine right. days. Wow. Now, then, do you, now, would you give them a deadline when you started the project? Yes. This needs to be yeah. done by this day. But the problem is on Odesk, it's a little challenging because, because you can set it up that way. But if they get it done with, they get it done after the time period, right. um, you, you, you still pay them and you don't are, I mean, the arbitrate on, um, it's just a challenge. So, okay. Um, I see. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. so you're still paying them. But why so did you just I, fire the guy when he said he couldn't do it in time and just find a new one? Um, because I think they have to allow you to fire them or it goes to arbitration. Okay. I think I, oh, Odesk and Elance are very interesting. And it, it's funny because I went that, that whole uh, template I, that I had built for, um, for the eBay store template that I had built a few months back. Um, the, the, I, go, I go to Elance and Elance basically says, um, okay, great. We're going to get you to arbitrator. And I'm like, okay, well, I, I assume that that arbitrator is part of Elance. Right. And long story short, it wasn't part of Elance. Uh, it was an outside arbitrator that I had to pay for. So if they came to a decision that that he's okay and that I'm in the wrong, I got to pay for the arbitrator and additional fees on top of it. I'm like, this is ridiculous. So just be very careful on Elance and Odesk. Um, like I said, fail fast. Don't drag situations out when you're when you're when you're working offshore because those 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 uh, services are great, but they're not great when you have a problem. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Have you ever had a problem, Mark? Oh, okay, you? so here, here's 
here's what happened with me. And this, this is more a land geek issue than frontier properties. Yeah. But okay. So I bought this program called Infusionsoft. Are you familiar with Infusionsoft? Uh huh. Okay. So it's just, it's like a Weber on steroids basically. And yeah. the problem or the, what my thinking was, was okay. I'm going to get Infusionsoft. I hired this expensive, uh, company in Georgia to set up everything, right? Okay. And it's such a complex system, right? And uh-huh. the learning curve was so steep that I I didn't have time to learn it myself. Like I'm like, I'm not gonna dedicate any time to this. I'm just gonna hire these consultants, they're gonna set up the funnel and everything's gonna be fine. Well, you know, five months later and I don't know how many thousands upon thousands of dollars I spent at the end of the day, I've got this program that I have no control over. I'm completely dependent on higher priced consultants. Yeah. And so I, 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 like, I, I just said to myself, like, this is a sunk cost. I'm not getting that time back. I'm not getting that money back. But I'll be damned if I'm going to throw one more dollar into this system that is not that I have no control over. Yeah. Like you, you never want to have a program or a system or something that that you have you were you're dependent on someone else to do. Yeah. So I went back to basics and said, "Look, I'm going to some, I'm going to simplicity, I'm going back to Aweber. I'm taking over total control. Not that I'm not going to use other people to help me, but I want to be able to review their work. I want to be able to see where problems are happening. I want to have some control over it." Right, I need to know it well enough. That's and control, um, you got a control problem there, Mark. What's that? You got a control problem. I have a control problem, and so I'm just like, look, this is a sunk cost. And I went back to to basics, and you know, it, it happens. But the biggest problem I see with entrepreneurs is they get that sunk cost and they keep chasing it. They they can't take the loss on it. Yeah. And um, you'll see it with take- projects. You, you can see with you know lots of different things. Yeah, if, you, if you're an entrepreneur, you, you have to learn to, to become a control freak uh, in many aspects. You have to learn to control, um, you know, what you know and what you don't know. And right. I think that, that that becomes a challenge with a lot of people. Like I, like you, I, I, you know, I like to control things, um, but I'm learning to let go a lot of, uh, you know, of control of things that I don't know, but still managing. So you can control, right. but manage at the same time. Yeah, see, and I couldn't even manage this. Yeah. Right? And I, I couldn't get out of it. And... Um, you know, I'm sure if I took the time, you know, 20, 30 hours to really learn the program, mm-hmm. it would be just fine. But I don't want to do it. I don't have the time. Yeah. And there's other simpler solutions, maybe not as powerful, but at this point in my business, I don't need that. Yeah. And uh, so it was, it was basically, you know, I have to go two steps backwards and then, then take one step forward. Instead of two step forward, two steps forward, one step back. It was very frustrating, but lesson learned um, yeah. for me from from a management aspect because I couldn't even manage it properly. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what I didn't know. It was it was it was, it was terrible. So um, you know those things can happen too if you start getting in, involved with your land business and you get a software program or a VA and you become completely dependent on them. They get sick or you have to fire them or something, and then you have to go back in. You don't know any, how to do any of it. That's yeah. frustrating. Yeah. So no, I agree. Yeah. I agree hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah, that, so that's, that was a big problem I had. Yeah. And, and that's uh, one, that's one of it. the many problems. That's one of the many problems you have, Mark. I have many problems, but, <laughs> <laughs> but look, it's just, you know, the problems are meant to be solved. Exactly. Right? You know, one of the problems that, one of the problems that I see you don't have that I have right now is you have a full head of hair. And I'm, and I'm, and I don't. So, you know, being able to see you while we podcast is great. I know it's great. <laughs> yeah. Ex- except for the fact that, you know, you're in San Diego and, yeah. I'm, and I'm stuck here for now. I'll give up all my hair follicles to be in San Diego the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. Done. So, um, anyway, Mark, so I think we're, we're getting really close to that time. Um, oh, you, you gotta go. You want to, you want to start talking about tips of the week? Yeah. I want to, well, I think we're, gosh, we're 30 minutes in, aren't we? No, we're like 25 minutes in. Well, gosh, my tip of the week is going to be super long. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear your tip of the week. Uh, and it actually, 
it, it, I've changed. I, I, Mark and I discussed the tip of the week before we got on, and it was so bad that I had to come up with something more creative. So my tip of the week is a website that I've actually been using a lot lately. Uh, it's called graphicriver.net. Oh, I got to check this out. You, by the way, you've been so on fire with your tips of the week lately. Thank you. Let, so, I, I hope this is... This is probably one of the best tips you'll ever get, Mark. Another one? Come it's on. so good. So just so everybody knows... Graphicriver.net. There are a lot of things that my wife can do on Photoshop, and she helps me do things really quickly because she's got some talent. Um, but if you've got a VA that knows a little bit of Photoshop, this is every kind of marketing, anything, whether you need like a button for your website or a uh, PSD files that you can throw properties into a, you know, an HTML. So, I mean, it has everything graphically that you need. If you need a presentation, if you need a brochure, if you need a business card, Graphic River has people that develop templates and you pay four, five, two, whatever dollar amount it is. So it's not, it's not very expensive. No, it's very cheap. So um, wow. and it, when you get the graphic, it, Graphic River is run by a company called, I think it's called Envato. Um, yeah, Envato. And Envato has about 10 companies underneath it. And what, what they do is they, they do, they have Theme Force, which we've talked about in the past. And Theme Force is basically buying um, WordPress themes that you can, that you can quickly customize and put in, if you, if you have a little experience with, with WordPress, it's pretty easy to upload these templates and sort of customize them and make them your own. Then this there's, cool. a, then there's a website called, and then another one called Code Canyon and then Video Hive, Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle has music that you can buy. If you're trying to do a video and you want to buy music, you pay whatever, 14 bucks and you get access to that file. Video Hive, similar, just, you know, um, stock videos you can buy on Video Hive. Code Canyon script, anything you need, like code that you may need for a website, um, 3D Ocean, 3D stuff, Photo Dune, stock photos, um, so and, and of course Graphic River. So basically, this site has everything you you could ever want um, that somebody else would develop for you, and then you just you know, and you can sort of customize things. So it's pretty neat. So this is really cool. So Man. check it. It's um, it's pretty. You know, it's there are some aspects of Graphic River like. You know, a lot of these things are in like, you know, if you want a three page or a five page, you know, ebook or manual and you need to buy an ebook, it's, it's an InDesign file. And a lot of people go, gosh, InDesign, I've got to go to Adobe and get the creative cloud. And, you know, by the way, Adobe, gosh darn it, they're so genius right now. You can't, you, I, it's so funny because people used to always go, yeah, can I, you know, can I have your disc for Photoshop? You know, I, my wife will buy the disc and she'll upload it and everybody else wants to, and you, you, and you can't do that anymore. You can't pirate any any software from Adobe because it's on the cloud now. So wow. they basically the system to go, hey, if you want our stuff, you've got to pay your hundred bucks a month or whatever it is for whatever tools you're using. So the challenge is getting to finding the guys that can take what you buy on here and implement. This is really cool. So from a, a practical standpoint, let's say I've got an ebook, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would go on here and it would create me an ebook template that I could just copy and paste or it's not that simple no it's uh, it's not that simple. what you could do is you could take something from here okay you could download it you could go to fiverr okay hit, go to fiverr and then give them your information for the ebook and then have them for five bucks do it because they can use indesign oh okay so you got to use the program indesign so so for the ebook itself so there's indesign there's adobe illustrator um there's adobe photoshop um so those those are three main ones okay um, photoshop, photoshop is primarily for like more more um, graphic related um, projects. Um, in Illustrator is more like drawing, like you know, you know what the, what the word is, Illustrator, and then and then InDesign is more like um, magazines, eBooks, that kind of stuff. Putting things together where you can kind of manipulate text around and kind of add. It's, like, it's like almost like a combination of I think like Illustrator and and Photoshop with some Word. It's just interesting. So this is um, great. Now, what if I want to do like a like a three D book kind of icon image is that is this where i would go exactly you find anything that you anything graphically that you need i mean literally it has everything this website and bottle marketplaces has everything this is so cool wow so, great tip thank you great tip all so right I told you to take at least three minutes I think yeah yeah graphicriver.net all right so my tip of the week man it's you're hard to follow now it's a marketing tip and it's uh it's a simple informational site. You may have heard of this website. You may not have. It's Google. But this is <laughs> so this is thinkwithgoogle.com. 
and it's it just kind of gives you a broad uh, insight into what's going on with marketing, marketing trends, what's going on. And uh, you can kind of go on there and get tons of marketing information. And uh, it's pretty cool. Have you checked it out, thinkwithgoogle.com? I haven't, but that sounds way more boring than what I what I came it's up with. It's way huh? more boring, but even <laughs> even just one little insight, one little tip might lead you to a new marketing channel that you may not have ever even thought of. That's true. That is true. And uh, what's the do what's the domain name, Mark? Uh, thinkwithgoogle.com. Thinkwithgoogle.com. Okay, I'll check right. that out. So check it out. Yeah. So I will. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to get back to you next week on on how that uh, how that works. All right, cool. So are we good? I think we're good, Mark. All right. Um, you can be around for next week. I'll be here. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, so I want to thank Duran Frazier, but more than that, I want to urge you to go to www.landhub.com, sign up for the site, give Duran some love there. If you want some wholesale property, Go to reserveland.com. If Duran doesn't have anything you want, check out my site, frontierpropertiesusa.com. And of course, if you want to learn more information on how to make passive income, active income with the best real estate niche out there, no tenants, no toilets, no termites, no trash, go to www.thelandgeek.com and download the Passive Income Blueprint. Get the ebook, How to Avoid the Three Fatal Land Buying Mistakes. And of course, listen to our voices each week and get it delivered right to your inbox, the Land Geek Podcast. So this is Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek. I want to thank everyone for uh, spending their time with us and listening to us kind of go on. And uh, I hope to see everybody next week. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.